You all are welcome to this video. In the previous video, we looked at some examples of equations which can be expressed in the form of linear equations in two variables. Now, we will look at the common mistakes made while solving questions based on this. Solve the given pair of equations. To solve the question, pause the video and match your answer. To obtain a constant on the RHS, let us divide the equations by x, y. This gives us equations 1 and 2. We can write these equations as follows. You can see that equations 1 and 2 are not linear equations. If we replace 1 by x by m and 1 by y by n in equations 1 and 2, then we can express these equations as linear equations, equations 3 and 4. Now, on solving 3 and 4 by any method, we get m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. Now again, keeping m is equal to 1 by x and n is equal to 1 by y, solving gives us x is equal to 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 3. Therefore, option 3 is the correct answer. It was a nice try if you selected option 1. But this answer is wrong because while solving the question, you got the values of m and n. But you didn't solve it further and after taking these values of m and n, you selected the first option, then the answer is incorrect. If you selected option 2, then it's a nice try. But even this answer is wrong. This is because when you divide the equations by x, y, you often make a mistake. And according to that only, you solve the rest of the question, which gives x is equal to 1 by 3 and y is equal to 1 by 2, which is again wrong. So. We hope you understood why the third option is correct and the rest of them are wrong. Such examples can be used by the teacher to test students' comprehension in class.